Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. I know I look a little bit strange, but I wanted to do an update video and I wanted to do my makeup and I figured I should just kill two birds with one stone because I just don't have the time to do everything that I want to do in a day. So, my hair is crazy. I feel like... Yeah. I have a little man down here again, so you're going to hear him because he's very vocal at the moment. This shirt just... It's not laying right. It's not laying right. Um, so I look a little bit weird because I have my full face on. I have my eyebrows on. I don't have my eyes on. So we're going to do that as we chat and um, see how that goes. Not a tutorial. I'm not like giving you guys everything that I'm using. I'm just literally doing this while I chat. Um, so let's get into it. I know some people had asked me about kind of like a birth story for Hendrix. Um, some people were interested in hearing like the details. So I figured I'd kind of go over that right quick. I don't have a ton to like update on. I haven't really started oh, seriously back on track just yet. Um, you know, I'm not eating the crap that I was before. Uh, all of the crap. I'm still eating some crap. I feel like this is not blending. Um, but I figured going back to work is going to be way easier for me to kind of get started because it's going to be obviously more structured and I don't know. I'll have a schedule. Hopefully Hendrix will be on a schedule with sleeping because right now... You know, we're waking up in the morning having to bring the kids 35, 40 minutes in traffic to school and then coming back. Sometimes I'd go to the store. So I feel like he's not really on a set schedule and um, that's not that's not what I wanted to do right there. Um, I feel like we both just really kind of need to be um, on more of a schedule. And I think that hopefully going back to work on Monday will be a good transition for us. Um, speaking of that, I am very anxious. I think I'm going to have some severe anxiety over this whole, bless you, God bless the baby, um, bringing my baby to work. Like, I know it's a policy and they're letting me do it, which is amazing and I'm, like, super grateful because, hello, like, who wants to pay for daycare and I get to, like, have my child with me. But, like I said before, I work in a call center, like, how is this going to work when he's crying or when I have to take a call because they want to talk to a manager and my child is calling uh, calling crying in the background I know that I just know from my personality um I'm gonna have a lot of anxiety when he starts crying and I just want to like try and calm down because they obviously you know know to expect it it's not something that they're gonna frown down upon frown down look down upon um so I just kind of got to chill but I know I know I'm gonna I'm already like kind of dreading it not just like I mean obviously I don't want to go to work but um just like the experience I don't know I'm sure as we go I mean he'll be with me for four months because they are letting me bring him until he's six months of age or crawling and this child's not gonna cry but crawl before he's six months so um I'm sure we'll kind of fall into something but I'm just nervous you know so anyway so as you know Hendrix was due or as you may know um he was due on September 12th um and he was my third so I thought for sure like I was gonna go early and I did not I ended up being a week overdue so he was born I was induced on that month the Monday following um they don't usually like people to go more than five days past due but they don't induce on the weekend so they bumped me to Monday so they called us in um they gave me some tablet i wish i was like prepared enough to know or i knew or i remembered like i don't remember half of the stuff that happened um but they gave me some tablet half of a tablet they said they weren't going to start pitocin right away which i was thankful for because my first son i was induced with pitocin and it was the worst experience of my life i was in labor for over 36 hours and it was just horrendous um not over 36 hours over 30 hours and it just wasn't wasn't pleasant you know what I'm saying so um I really wanted to avoid that at all costs so I was grateful when they said that that was kind of later in the ordeal that that's not what they were jumping in with um so they gave me the half a tablet they said you know let's kind of see how it was going she checked me she checked me and I was one centimeter dilated a week overdue when I was one centimeter like this child is so happy and content inside of my uterus. It was not even funny. So I was really kind of like bummed about it. But um, thankfully that medication that they gave me to induce it like really started working. I started getting some contractions. 
Um, I was obviously hooked up to the monitor. That is like the worst because they hook you up to this monitor and you're in bed and like you can't even move because they're tracking the contractions or tra tracking the baby's heartbeat. And like I was just laying in bed and my back was really, I had a lot of back issues throughout the whole pregnancy, which I expected, but laying on my back made it even worse. So just sitting there like was unbearable. So I, you know, got up probably an hour or two into it and I was like you know I can't like I'm the only pain I'm feeling right now that I can't handle are these damn the back pains like the contractions they are what they are um they were kind of few and far between and pretty weak obviously but the back pain so she um my nurse let me sit up in a chair which was awesome um they have like birthing balls they didn't let me do that they have like the shower they didn't let me do any of that they were just like sit down and don't move so um that was a little bit you know not pleasant but like I said she let me get in the chair and then a few hours into it is when the contractions really started picking up and it was really neat to have I had my mom came later on but I had my sister and then obviously my boyfriend my other sister was working that afternoon so she kind of popped in and out of the room but my um one of my sisters and my boyfriend kept checking like the contraction monitor like ding it's a big one Caitlin and I'm like I know um but they really weren't even that bad to be honest like I kind of just shut my eyes and focused and breathed through them for what I could um and that was the case so I went in at 11 and got induced and probably when did I have them? I had them at 12. I would say probably about 10 o'clock, 1030. Um, they were coming, you know, pretty quickly um, and very frequent and very strong. And so um, they checked me. And at that point, I was just barely three centimeters dilated from 11 to, to about 10 o'clock at night. I was only two centimeters dilated more. And I was like, really? So um, she checked me and she's like, okay, you're three centimeters. Everything's, you know, shortened I don't really know I don't know the the cer I don't know the cervix was shortened something like that so she was like do you want an epidural and I was like yeah I'm gonna have one she's like okay why don't you just get it now and I was like really sure and um she's like it's not gonna you know slow down the process so just get it so she's she said do you want to get it now or do you want to walk so I walked for a little bit um and kind of just walked through the contractions and then did opt to get the epidural so I had that probably around 11 by the time I ended up getting the epidural and um that was that was that was intense I had epidurals for my other two so like it is what it is I knew that it wasn't going to be fun but this one man this one I was in tears I was in tears over because it hurt so bad and not even just like the contractions in between but the pain of it hurt so bad and I, I don't know I don't remember my other two being like that and um I don't know I just remember I remember <laughs> being down so I obviously had my face like beat like hello who am I um I obviously had makeup on and I just remember like my eyes watering so bad that my eyelash was starting to pop off so I was trying to like fix it and the nurse was like stay still and I was like oh and it was just really bad so um it worked right away though thank God, you know, she got it in. It took maybe 10 minutes and, um, it was, it was pumping through my veins and it was good. And so then, um, honestly it was really, really fast. So my sisters and everybody were in the room. We were kind of chatting and I was like, I don't know if I have to poop, <laughs> if I have to poop for real, or if like he's coming, I'm not really sure. Like, that was like freaking me out I was like I think I'm gonna I think I have to go to the bathroom I think I have to poop and so they were like okay so like we need to call them in so um my boyfriend got on the intercom and he's like she needs to use the restroom and I was like no I need to have a child I need to have a baby so my nurse was like okay so she came in laughing and uh checked me and uh she was like oh he's right here like he's coming out and I was like yeah I know and um by that time she's like okay so she called down to the doctor to get him in and I was like oh it I can't I can't hold it anymore I can't she's like you need to you need to hang on and uh that that was like that was tough to do I was literally like gripping my bed sheets like oh my god oh my god do not push do not push because you know when the urge is there the urge is there you gotta push girl um so plus we had wanted to have him on September 17th because that was just kind of a weird coincidence that his name is Hendrix and that's the day that Jimi Hendrix 
passed away and I was like that's kind of too much of a coincidence to not have him on that day and then we found out that they scheduled our induction on that day and I was like yo so um I was trying so hard I was like okay I would really wanted to we were kind of taking bets we're like okay it's gonna happen is it gonna happen and then I felt like I had to push and it was literally at like 11 55 and I was like I have to push but she was like do not do it until the doctor comes so the doctor comes strolling in at like 12.03 hello and um she like gets suited up and she, the nurse is like, he's like right here. She's like, sorry. My doctor's like, sorry, I was watching my TV show. I just had to come back from watching my TV show. And I was like, this is why I'm in pain, hanging on for dear life, like kegling for like I've never kegled in my life. Um, and so she put her thing on and she's like, she went to check and she's like, oh, here, he's here. So I pushed once. And she's like, okay, you need to stop pushing because the cord is wrapped around, wrapped around his neck. And so she did that. And then I pushed one more time and he was out. Two pushes. Like, easy as pie. Like, crazy, crazy. Uh, and he was out. And he was born at 12.05 a.m. Um, like I said, I did have an epidural. I was induced. So, you know, I had medication. But after that, I mean, they did what they had to do. I did tear, so they had to, you know, do stitches or whatever. But... You can't, if you ever had a child, you cannot feel nothing because of the pressure that you just had to go through. Um, so I literally didn't even like feel her stitching afterwards. Um, they did have some like issues that were a little bit like kind of freaking me out. Um, trying to get the placenta out like they thought that they did it and then they kept back, kept coming back and checking me and like I would just kept bleeding. So that was a little bit like alarming for me, I guess. But they did end up um, on like the fourth try, they have to like massage the uterus and make sure that they get everything out the placenta is all gone because that can really be damaging um and then you know they push down on the the uterus to make sure it's like contracting properly so um once that was all kind of in check uh we were good and he was beautiful they did ask me if i wanted to see him right away and i was like no no you can clean that child up and bring him over to me but i do not want a slimy baby i just that's not for me i know that makes me sound heartless but like it's not for me so she brought him over to um the little warming area and like cleaned him up and measured him and did all that stuff my boyfriend was over there it was really really special because obviously he was there but um for my other two my family they weren't in the area and so with this one i was like you know they you know we were local we obviously live near them now and so um they were able to be in the room and I was like you know come visit me hang out but like when I'm pushing people don't need to see my vagina like that's just not you know that's not for everybody um but then after I was in like in pain and contractions and so tired I was like I don't care who's here so it was really special because they were they ended up being there and they got to see him and they took some really incredible pictures um that I was so thankful for um it was just a really special moment so they were there my boyfriend got to cut the cord which was amazing this is his first child so you know it's just really it was really amazing and then he was beautiful he was fine he they gave him to me he like started suction cupping on my my cheek immediately which was really funny even though I had a full face of makeup on and he ended up having makeup all over him which will be the rest of his life he uh, has a perpetual like few pieces of glitter on his skull at all times because I have I've officially claimed the child, so he just has to have glitter on him at all times so that, you know, people know he's mine, you know? Um, so yeah, so he was beautiful. He weighed in at um, 9 pounds, 2 ounces, and was 20 and a half inches long. So he was a big dude, but, you know, he was a week overdue, so that's kind of to be expected. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was just, it was a really smooth sailing, like, quick, really pretty, pretty painless, you know, as can be expected um process so i was really really thankful for that and um he's perfect and here we are almost eight weeks later going back to work how depressing is that i'm like really sad that i have to go back to work like i don't know and then i was talking to jean who you know i met here on youtube on my facebook and she's like oh in canada we get 18 weeks 18 weeks paid full 18 weeks 18 months 18 months paid What's going on, United States? Can we? I know Trump could give a flying F about me and my maternity leave desires, but like, can we get on top of stuff? Like, a, one of my girlfriends said she had no pay the entire maternity leave. I was lucky enough that I have short term disability, so I was paid a portion of my salary for six weeks and then I used 
the, I only had two weeks of time that I could use, like vacation time, personal time, and stuff like that. So I was, you know, lucky enough to have at least something. A girlfriend of mine, like I said, she had no pay the whole time that she had maternity leave. And it's just, it's so sad. Like, why is that our life? Like, it needs to be recognized how important it is for a mom and child to kind of just be together and spend that initial first time together. Oh, look at that. Same color. I didn't know I had two of these. Um, but, you know, that's the United States for you, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. So we're going back to work. I will definitely have to update everybody on that. That should be interesting. Um, like I said, I'm really looking forward to kind of using that as a jumping off for some kind of um, structure and schedule. And for like my eating even, like I really have to go out this weekend and I'm going to go back to basics and just get some protein shakes, do some protein coffees and... Um, like my rotisserie chicken that I would do in the beginning and hot sauce and stuff like that. So I, I guess we'll see how it goes. Um, but I'm really, I'm looking forward to kind of getting back into the swing of things. I don't want to go to work, but uh, it will be nice to, again, have some structure. I still haven't gone to the gym because, I don't know, I feel bad leaving my boyfriend here. Bless you with the babe um, when he has to like get up for work really early in the morning. And, you know, if he's with the the baby then he has to kind of not be asleep because he can sleep pretty sound and I don't want him obviously sleeping through the child needing to eat every two hours here so hopefully I don't know how people stretch out the feedings of their children like I've been trying to stretch it out but he is just so demanding he just wants his food when he wants his food and um there ain't no getting around it so he eats every two hours at night it's every three hours which is great but I don't know um so yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to kind of getting back in the swing of things, you know what I mean? I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, I guess. <sighs> I guess, I, like I said, my biggest anxiety right now is just how it's going to work out. I just, my mind always goes to like worst case scenario, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, sorry. Um, oh, sorry. So, I, I don't know, we'll see, I guess. But I'm so excited for the holidays. Are you gonna focus on me or are you gonna focus on that? Oh, I think my boyfriend's home. Hold, please. So we stopped for just a minute um, for my boyfriend to come in and to pick up the little man. Can you say hi? Oh, good job. Good job. Ooh. Um, so yeah, so everything is going well with him. I was saying that we are excited here for the holidays. I need to get our tree up. Um, you know, it's his first Christmas. Oh, are you excited? Are you excited for Santa? My oldest is asking me if Santa was really real. Um, in the car on the way to school yesterday, I think it was. Oh, dang, I got sparkles in my lash. Um, ooh. And I'm like really torn between telling him the truth, but my youngest was in the car and I was like, I don't wanna, he's more emotional, my youngest, so. My oldest is like, that elf on the shelf, it says made in China, how is he really magical? No, ma'am. Um, so I feel like I, I wanna tell him, but not with my youngest. Uh, he's not my youngest anymore, not with my, middle child um he's more like i said he's more sensitive so i feel like he would be more f sad to find out that santa was not real um so yeah so we are living life y'all we're living life he's getting big he's over 11 pounds now and we are unfortunately on doing formula for the most part i think i talked about that in my last video um but it is what it is i I uh, breastfed as long as I could. I'm pumping a little bit, so he's still getting a little bit here and there. It's a challenge. It's a struggle, y'all. Struggle bus city. I like I said before. I had a str I had a challenge breastfeeding my other two, and I don't know if VSG. I'm sure it did play a part in, you know, some of the struggles. Yeah, for this, but um, you know, whatever your decision is, each child, each family is individual so it's not like there's anything against formula feeding there's nothing against you know breastfeeding or supplementing or anything so you know do you just remember that that is 
what's most important is what you feel comfortable with. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Can we do this? Oh. Oh. Good job. So, um, yeah, that's that's where we're at. We're living life. And I wish I had more exciting things to update you on, but I don't. So, yeah. So, thank you so much for finishing up getting ready with me today. I hope that that was entertaining or interesting to some of y'all. Um, I have some clothing hauls that we're going to film here whenever I can find the time. Um, I've been shopping so much online. Like, it's really bad. I just feel like I don't have clothes that fit me anymore since, you know, we've packed on a few pounds. Uh, and I got rid of all my fat clothes. My fat turk clothes. I need to do my inner corner highlight. Why am I sitting here just chilling? Like, get to work. Um, so I've been doing quite a bit of shopping at Torrid and I shopped at Simply B is a new store that I tried out. Boohoo I got some clothes at. Forever 21. Like, I kind of went a little crazy. Right, Hendrix? Right? So, uh, expect to see, oh, some of that coming up. It's just, I need to figure out, like, editing software and stuff. I'm not really super talented when it comes to this. My inner corner highlight on this eye is always more ugly than the other. Always. Should we do it? Should we do the nose? We go and do it. Can you see that? Can you even see that? The lighting isn't great. Okay. Okay. Apparently we're done. We're done doing our makeup, guys, because this one is a fidget meister. He's just tired. He has to be surrounded by boobs to go to sleep, you know? Okay. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Um, and I appreciate all the comments and the love and um, the channel idea names, channel name ideas in the last video. I just got around to reading all those, so those are super cool. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us, being in there. I feel super bald in this video. Um, so we're going to go. I love y'all. I will see you later. Bye. Say bye. No. Bye.